Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Majgaon dock is all set to launch two massive warships for Indian Navy next week on May 17th. The first one is fourth of four Vishakhapatnam class destroyer to be named as INS Surat once commissioned and second one is third of the seven Nirigiri class frigate under construction to be named as INS Udaigiri. Both the warships have been designed indigenously by the Directorate of Naval Design. The Vishakhapatnam class destroyer, also named as Project 15 Bravo or P-15B, is a class of guided missile destroyers of displacement 7,400 ton, is currently being built for Indian Navy by MDL. The lead vessel of this class, INS Vishakhapatnam, was commissioned on 21st November last year. Murmugao and Imphal were launched on 2016 and 2019 respectively. Murmugao is set to be commissioned this year, while Imphal will be commissioned in 2024. Surat, which is the last destroyer of this class, will be commissioned in 2025. The overall cost of the project is Rs 35,800 crore or $4.7 billion. The Nilgiri class frigate, also classified as Project 17 Alpha or P-17A, are series of guided missile frigates of displacement 6,670 ton and is currently being built by Majgaon Dock Shipbuilders and Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers GRSE. Four out of seven vessels are being built in MDL and three at GRSE in Kolkata. The first two warships of this class, Nilgiri and Himgiri, were launched in 2019 and 2020 respectively. Nilgiri is set to be commissioned on August this year and Himgiri for next year. Udagiri will be commissioned in early 2024. The overall cost of this project is 45,000 crore rupees or 5.9 billion dollar. The P-15B destroyers incorporate new design concepts for improved survivability, sea keeping, stealth and maneuverability which have been achieved through shaping of hull and use of radar transparent deck fittings which makes the ships difficult to detect. Each ship spans 163 meters in length and 17.4 meters at beam and displaces 7,300 tons. The ship is propelled by four powerful gas turbine in a combined gas and gas or COGAG configuration which can achieve speeds in excess of 30 knots and has a range of 4,000 nautical miles. The power plant will also integrate two diesel engines and four generator sets. These ships are packed with array of state-of-art weapons and sensors including multifunctional surveillance radars and vertical launched missile system for long distance engagement offshore, sea-based and for aerial targets. The destroyer is equipped with Israeli ELM-2248, MFS star S-band, AESA multifunction radar, Thales LW08, D-band, air search radar, BEL Hamsa NG, Bo Sonar. The Shakti Electronic Warfare Suite will also provide an electronic layer of defense against modern radars and anti-ship missiles to ensure electronic dominance and survivability of the warship in the maritime battlefield. It will provide capability of the interception, detection, classification, identification and jamming of conventional as well as the modern radars. The destroyer is equipped with an Auto Melera 76mm naval gun. For point defense, the vessels are equipped with 4 AK-630M close-in weapon system with two systems on either side of the superstructure. For anti-air warfare, the destroyers are equipped with 32 Barak-8 extended range surface to air missile or LRSAM in 4-8 cell vertical launch system. For anti-surface warfare, the destroyers are equipped with 16 BrahMos anti-ship missile enclosed in two 8-cell vertical launch system at the bow. For anti-submarine warfare, each destroyer is equipped with 
two twin torpedo launchers. It may be used for launching Varunastra heavyweight torpedo developed by DRDO. The destroyers are also equipped with two RBU-6000 anti-submarine rocket launchers. In future, the Nirbhay cruise missile and VL SR SAM surface-to-air missile have been speculated to be integrated with the destroyers. The Project 17A are the most advanced frigates built by Indian Navy and it's because of two main features. The first one is its modular design and second one is its stealth. The P-17A frigates are the first major warship to be built using the methodology of integrated modular construction, a manufacturing process in which multiple modules or blocks of a vessel's hull are pre-assembled or pre-outfitted independently before being aggregated for final assembly. The frigate's design incorporates a significant degree of stealth and low radar observability. By the use of composite materials, radar absorbent coatings, and low observable radar transparent technologies. The frigate also maintains a low infrared and low acoustic signature. The Project 17A uses a flush deck layout in which the deck has a uniform continuous layout from bow to stern which reduces its radar cross section making it stealthier. As a part of its anti-surface warfare capability, the class features one 8-cell BrahMos anti-ship cruise missiles. The vessels are also equipped with one Otto Millera 76mm naval gun. As a part of its anti-air warfare capabilities, the class feature four 8-cell VLS for 32 Barak 8 extended range surface-to-air missiles with two placed at the bow and two placed at the aft. The Barak 8ER, also classified as LR-SAM, is an extended range variant of the original Barak 8. The new variant is expected to feature a range of about 150 km. As a part of the anti-submarine warfare capabilities, the frigate features two triple torpedo launchers for firing anti-submarine torpedoes. The class also features two RBU-6000 anti-submarine rocket launchers capable of firing anti-submarine projectiles to a depth of up to 1000 meter. It is also equipped with two anti-torpedo decoy system and four decoy launchers which presumably may be an STL Maris torpedo countermail system and the Kavach anti-missile decoy launchers respectively. Each ship spans 149 meters in length and 17.8 meters at beam and displaces 6,670 tons. Each frigate features two General Electric LM2500 gas turbines manufactured by G Aviation and two MAN12528 STC four-stroke engines manufactured by MAN Diesel and Turbo in a combined diesel and gas that is CODAG propulsion configuration. The CODAG is a type of propulsion system for warship that needs maximum speed and is considerably faster than their cruise speed, particularly warships like modern frigates or corvettes. The Nilgiri class features ELM 2248 MF star AESA radar as its primary radar suite. It also features Indra LTR-25 Lanza surface search radar as its secondary radar suite. The frigate is also equipped with an advanced combat management system CMS-17A equipped with sophisticated data links for higher interoperability among the various other warships. The class is equipped with BL Hamsa NG sonar developed by DRDO. The Hamsa NG is a hull-mounted, active compassive integrated sonar system capable of detecting, localizing, classifying, and tracking subsurface targets in both active and passive modes. Just like Vishakhapatnam class destroyer, the Nilgiri class also features the Shakti electronic warfare suite to provide an electronic layer of defense. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. 
Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.